What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin and you're watching No Limits On, the channel about the privilege of being a freelancer and today we're talking about recording a great voiceover in your DIY studio quality sound booth. Today the first customers who pre-ordered iPhones mini and iPhones 12 Pro Max got their phones. And actually we're testing five different microphones. Right now I have my uh, Rode Wireless Go system with a level layer mic from every mic company, also the Zoom H1, a pretty cheap but very nice recorder from Zoom. Also here we got Sony A6300 and straight plugged in the Rode, wi uh, not wireless, but <laughs> actually wired microphone which is the Rode VideoMic Pro, the first generation of it. This beast of a camera Sony FS7 with the XLR cable going straight to the Sennheiser MKE 600 and also I'll be using my iPhone 8 also as a reference sound with the you know, simple recording app, the built-in one. So let's check all the sounds in this room. Actually this is the room of my daughter and uh, as you can see because of the Pikachu sitting here. It's a pretty, you know, not a big room but you hear some echo here. With a clap test you can clearly hear that the echo is here but I have here the carpet, kind of you know a pretty big one, some curtains, you know the bed, so it's not the worst case scenario but we'll hear the difference between this one and the special DIY boot, booth, booth. So right now guys let's listen to the different microphones, I'll adjust the volume but no other adjustments are being made. This sound is being recorded straight to Sony A6300 through Rode Video Microphone Pro, the first generation, mic check 1-2. This is the sound of inbuilt microphones on the Zoom H1 recorder, mic check 1-2. This sound is being recorded straight into the FS7 through the XLR input with the Sennheiser MKE600 microphone. Mic check, 1-2. This sound is being recorded through Rode Wireless Go system straight into the Sony A7S II through level layer mic from Airy Mic, which is 20 bucks. Mic check, 1-2. And this sound is being recorded straight into my iPhone 8. Mic check, 1-2. 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 Okay guys, now you've heard all the microphones, now we're going to build the booth and I'll tell you why I even discovered this way of recording and then I'll show you the difference between recording like so and in a booth, even if your neighbors are kind of drilling the walls and all that stuff. So let's go. Okay guys, first of all I took two pillows, huge pillows from my sofa and kind of made a special house or kind of a house. I used to make the same one for my daughter for her to play with her friends right here, but now I'm using it as a booth. Also I took a blanket and put it right in front of the wall so the sound does not reflect. Then I put some bass traps, they are pretty cheap and it's not obligatory to use those. You can just throw in some blankets or clothes, it's not very important. And then you can cover yourself with another blanket to improve the sound quality, but I'm not going to do this for this test. And some lighting improvements just for the picture. <sighs> I had to use my daughter's chair because it's you know pretty low and it's not very comfortable to record here without this chair so here's what I've got my DIY booth and it's actually working pretty great so let's hear the testing results. One more important thing guys is to monitor your audio through the headphones. These, these are vacuum headphones from Sennheiser, they are pretty cheap. It's actually less than 20 bucks, but they are working pretty nicely and every time I record my voiceover, I just listen to my voice to avoid some <coughs> and some breaths and you know, all that stuff, so I'm sure that I have recorded the best audio possible. And also I'll switch my level layer mic, I'll put it somewhere here, so we'll see also the difference between the normal variant of using it and the DIY recording booth variant. And also I'll try to use the dead cat which is right here for this MKE600 microphone and we'll hear the difference in sound quality. This makes it a little more bassy and kind of works as a pop filter. This is the sound of Rode VideoMic Pro with Sony A6300. Mic check, 1-2. This is the sound of MKE600 straight into Sony FS7. Mic check, 1-2. This is the sound of Airy Mic Level Layer Mic through Rode Wireless Go to Sony A7S II. Mic check, 1-2. This is the sound of Zoom H1 straight into Zoom. Mic check, 1-2. This is the sound from iPhone 8 straight into the iPhone. Mic check, 1-2. 
And now we'll record the sound with and without the dead cat and we'll hear the results. This is the sound without dead cat, mic check, one, two. This is the sound with the dead cat, mic check, one, two. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, 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 one, two. So guys, here is my simple but very efficient setup for voiceovers. And we're moving on to the quote of the episode. Everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. Albert Einstein. And the question of the episode, how do you record your voiceovers at home? Please share your thoughts and in pieces of advice in the comment section below, guys. This was Oleg Nikitin and No Limits On. Record great audio, guys. Take care. Bye. See you in the next video.